Hello everybody, my name is Zedek Janir, and welcome to episode 1 of the mini-series, Emulation of a Childhood. And today's episode, or this week's episode, will be Dragon Warrior Monsters. Now, I give you guys a chance to, uh, vote for me on which game I should start with, and, uh, if I should upload it onto YouTube or stream it onto Twitch. No one did anything. Only six viewers, so only watched it, and none of them even voted. So, about my choice, it will be Dragon Warrior Monsters 3 via YouTube. Now, I, this is one of the many games that I've played, but never finished, because I was such a little kid, I did not know what I was doing. But, about, uh, let's see here, uh, about 16 years later, maybe? Now I know what I'm going to be doing. Now, a quick disclaimer, I did do uh, 30, sec 30 minutes of this video already because I was testing out for the uh, open broadcast source. So, without further ado, let's start our journey. New game. Okay, so we're starting out with little kids chasing each other. Very interesting. Terry, wait! It's time for bed! Did you forget what Mom and Dad told us? Stay up too late and you will be carried away by monsters! What? You want to meet monsters? Don't be silly. Go to bed. And now we sleep. Okay, sleeping done. Alright, so let's see here. Terry looked in front of him. A flame sparkled and vanishes in the air. Nice. Let's see here. Terry looked in the dresser. It's filled with his clothes. Terry looked in this in the dresser. It's filled with Melayu's clothes? Melayu's? All right. Terry looked at the bookshelf. Diary of Malayo. Malayo? I don't know. Home alone with my brother. Hope no horrible monsters come out. Yeah, let's hope none of them would come about. Terry looked at the bookshelf. A fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy and a little girl in a village. Any more? the end, I think. Let's look at this. Terry looked at a stuffed animal. Something is written on it in tiny cute letters. Property of Malayu. Doesn't sound that cute. Nope. Um. I hear Malayu. Hmm. You don't look like her. Mary is a girl. Your name is Terry? You're not the one. I'm Warubu. What? From the kingdom of Great Log. Don't you forget it. Wow. Rude. And uh, there goes my sister. Where's Malayu? You speak monster talk, don't you? Maybe. Where's Malayu? Taken away? No, no. I was too late. Warubu. I'm not Warubu. I am Watabu. Doesn't sound like much of a difference. What? You want to know where your sister is? Well, follow me. Maybe you can find her. I hope you're a skilled master. I mean, I, I uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh, if that's what you mean. 
You don't understand what I'm talking about? Uh, nope, not really. Nope. You'll find out if you follow me. But first, let's take a look at these. Terry looks at the bookshelf. Encyclopedia of Monsters. Author unknown. Best book, 10 out of 10, would read again. Terry looked at the bookshelf. Too difficult to read. Makes sense. Another bear. Terry looked at a stuffed animal. Something is written on it in tiny cute letters. Property, property of Malayu. Wow. These parents must suck. Terry looked in front of him. The clock reads midnight. Oh, of course, the, the, well, actually, it's, uh, I believe it's 12.15, on the look of it, looks of it. And now, blues could do, you can do! And win! Oh, you must be the master. You must have had a long trip here. What? You don't know where you are? You're in the kingdom of Great Tree. Huh. Kind of lacking of names, don't you think? Lots of people brought you here. Let's get going. We have to visit the castle to pay our respects to the king. The king? Okay, lobster. This kingdom is created inside a big tree. We are at the bottom. The castle is at the top. Sounds simple. I think... Yep. Hey! Is he the new master? What have we brought here? Yes, indeed. I'm taking him to see the king. Good luck at the Starry Night Tournament. Alright, the tournament. I remember playing a few rounds in there. I think. Now it's time to go see the king. I'm the minister of this kingdom. Are you the new master? His Majesty has a favor to ask you. Please comply with his request. And there are these guards, which I can't remember. They look a bit reminiscent to uh, some of the enemies in that one uh, Game Boy game. Was it the Quest for Camelot game? I think. Welcome! I am the king of this kingdom. Identify yourself, my child. Ah, well, we start out as, uh... Terry, so let's go with Terry. Is Terry okay for the name? Yep. Oh, Terry. Will you comply with my wish? My wish is nothing but for you to participate and win the tournament of the Starry Night. What? You say you would rather find your kidnapped sister? Didn't you come here to comply with my request? Hmm. 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 However, there is an easier way than searching for her. Win the tournament of the Starry Night. Alright, fine. Since you're pushing me into the tournament, I'll do it. Legend has it that the one who is victorious in the tournament of the Starry Night will be granted a wish. Your wish to find your sister will be granted. That way, we both win. Meanwhile, search for your sister while you prepare for the tournament. Here, 
I, don't, I shall give you some monsters. Without any monsters, you cannot serve as a master. The monster farm is on the upper level. Go and ask Pulio for your monsters. Alright. Now, as I've said before, I cheated and played like 30 uh, minutes of this beforehand just for testing out the OBS. Hey, you! You came here to steal my monsters? Nope. You came here to get monsters? I'm Pulio. I take care of the, this farm. I heard about you from the king. Take your monsters. Well, actually, I only have one monster. An old one. It slipped. It was the favorite of our last king. Choose. Pick up. To take the monster. Picking up. Which one? Terry. You're going to pick this one up? Yep, first. Turn about Terry. Anything else? I exit. Later. We'll be here for you. Alright, so we got our first monster, and I think... Yep. Info. Wow, it's stupid. What's wrong? So, no, dude. Let's go meet the king. Oh, the monster is the former king's. Terry! Why did you adopt that monster? Huh? This is the only one left. That Pulio. He must have let the other monsters escape. Pulio! Pulio! Bring Pulio here! And out goes one of the Chesters. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Pulio, did Hale escape as well? Your Majesty, please forgive me. He will escape too. Ah, you, you let my precious Hale escape too. This is unforgivable. Throw him in the dungeon. Um, what? Terry, you have something to say? What? You will catch Hale to free Pulio? You say you will catch Hale? Sounds interesting. You may try, Terry. Majesty, Hale escaped through the Traveler's Gate. I see. Now, Terry, proceed to the Traveler's Gate. If you bring Hale back, I will pardon Pulio. The treasure chest in the next room is now yours. Ask, ask the minister about it. You won't dismiss. Busy, busy, busy. I wonder what he's busy about. Sorry, Terry. It's my fault. I know. Let me tell you a useful thing. You can record your quest using the journal under the option. Optin. And on the ministers are these chesters. I think. When you enter the Traveler's Gate, you'll be sent to an alien world. There are magical holes in the mystic world, and you can walk to the next level of the world throne through the horse. You should be able to come back when you defeat the monster on the last level. During the adventures, if you want to see the map of where you've been, press the Select button. But it works only when you are in the mystic world. And now, I think this guy. I have a feeling that your victory will help you find your sister. Wait, how did you know about my sister? Terry walked in a treasure chest. Terry got an herb. Terry opened a treasure chest. Terry picked up an herb. Find ourselves some chemical fluids and we're going to have ourselves a fun time. That's not the right 
way. Oh, great. Had to go back down the stairs. So yeah, I enjoyed this game because it's a Pokemon-esque game. Now, I haven't played the original Dragon Warriors or Dragon Dungeon or whatever they call this franchise. But... This one is one of my favorites. And now... We'll be journey... Journey... Yeah. Journey... Thank you. J Jimmy here. Journaling through the Traveler's World. Unless this room is the Traveler's World. One thing I enjoyed of the herb... herbs... herbs... I... I can't even find my own pronunciation for them. One of these uh, little herbs... Kind of reminds me of the uh, tree stars from uh, Land Before Time. Oh, the Anteater. I think the Anteater is one of my most favorite monsters of uh, the game. Ooh, nine points of damage. Did I take that? Yikes. Sweep. Sweep. Might as well use it. Herb. Flip the attack. Yes! Aha! Anteater down! Wow! Anteater got up and is looking at us. Want to take Anteater into your party? Yes, please. Please name Anteater female. No, wait. Yep, yep, yep there's a female. A E. Nah, I don't think I have a. I th I don't think I'm going to do any names. Want to name Anteater as A E? Nah, how about? Oh wait, where's the? Oh boy. Where is it? Ah. And T. Uh, Auntie. There we go. One want to name Anteater Female. As Auntie? Yes. Want to take Auntie with you on your quest? Of course. I don't know why, but Anteater was my most favorite uh, monster of all of them. Because I like the design of it. Not sure why. But now it looks like a uh, bootleg uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Look out! Draggy attacks! Not bad. Boom! You just got knocked out. Level two. Eight, three, five, six. Oh, six intelligent at one level. Wow, Draki. Female. Got up and is looking at us. Want to take Draki. Female. Into your party? Yes, please. Please name Draki. Female. And let's go for DK. Want to name Draki female? There. Want to name Draki female as DK? Yes. Want to take DK with you on your quest? Of course. So now we have the full a full team. Unlike in Pokemon, you only get three. Now I do believe that is a portal, but I'm not done with the uh, searching around yet. I do believe... Hey look, a slime monster. Let's kill it. Slime is knocked out. DK increases to level 2. 
Ooh, the defense good. And the agility. Now, what is this? This is just a feather, right? One warp ring. Warp ring. Ugh. So I think we've gone through the whole entire area. Let me check. Yep. We just went into a circle. Watch out! An anti-eater attacks! Anteater is knocked out. Received four. Auntie increases to level two. So, what else is there to say for about this game that I enjoyed? Well, as I said before, I had no idea what I was doing as a kid, and I only had it for a limited time. So I didn't do much, or gone through much, of the game. But, nonetheless, I really enjoyed it. Oh boy. Well, just a surprise attack? Ow. That hurts. Boom. And now the uh, leveling will start out slow. Uh, might as well give the team some health. And then DK. And that's it. Then I'm gonna explain. Ouch. You know, I think right now I should try to start do one hour let's plays and uh jump cut to good moments like meeting Hale and finding Hale and bosses and tournaments and such. Do we manage to go past the uh warp? Oh. I enjoyed the overview, I enjoyed the transaction, and I enjoyed the fights. Who does a mouthful. One thing we need to do before entering the portal is, uh, uh, collecting all the items. And another tree star. The key increases to level 5. 0, 0, 0, 3, 3, 0. Wow. And another tree star. There's hail. Hey, hail, it's time to come back. How do you do? I'm hail. I know you are here to catch me, but you can forget it. The farm is boring. I don't want to go back. A fight against Sucks the hail! DK attacks. Healer takes six damage. Slip attack. He will take six damage. Thirteen. DK attacks. He will take seven. Oh well, that sucks. Slip attacks. One more fight. Ooh. Get her. Oh come on. Could be an annoying fight. Boom. Boom. He receives four damage. And... Oh, you're still not done yet. Come on. Let's do it. Healer is... Dodge. And Healer is knocked down by Anteater. Yes! Wow. Healer. Mail. Got up and is looking at us. Want to take Healer... Mail. Into your party? Yeah, sure. Please name Healer. Mail. And we're keeping with 
the hail. Want to name healer male as hail? Yes. Want to take hail with you on your quest? Yes. And we're gonna be replacing uh, Drake, Drakey, Drakey, because Drakey wasn't really my favorite. You are strong. I like you, Terry. Want to boo? Right on, Terry. I'll take you back to the castle. And I've really forgotten their voices already. Ooh, Terry. Did you bring back Hale? What? Hale said he doesn't want to come back to me. But he said he would rather join you? Hmm. I see. Hmm. You sure are good with monsters. Well done. I'm pleased with your performance. I will let Julio go. Thank you, Terry. Now I can go back to my farm. Terry, go to the arena. The arrivals are waiting for you at the arena. You can compete in the tournament if you defeat all of them. You are dismissed. Busy, busy, busy. And going back to his chamber, so Lord knows what he's doing in there. Give the courageous master Terry the power of Great Tree. And then there was an epilepsy. To get to the arena, go straight out of the castle and go down. If you survive in the arena, you can compete in the tournament. Alright, well. Before I end this episode, I should be doing one last thing that I learned about recently. Just recently. Splat! Poop hits turn. What? Oh no. Huh. Terry looked into the jaw. Wow, Terry got a tiny metal. Yeah, I did a little bit, like I said before. Uh, what I was expecting was a Sky Dragon egg. Although, he's not dropping one. Maybe I should be in on this position? Imagine. Did you have an egg? Nope. All monsters are born from eggs. Do I get the egg here? No. Come on. Egg? Oh, come on. Ah, well. You know what? I think we have enough time to do, uh, just one, uh, arena tournament thing. Let's go! Egg! Oh, boy. This looks dangerous. Oh no! And he was there. Why? Oof! I'm glad I that I didn't get hurt. I should be more careful. Alright then. Something's wrong with this community. Hello! Welcome to the arena. Want to hear about the battles? Yes, the battle classes go from S, A, down to G. Well, beginners. You'll fight three monsters per class. You can go to the next class when you defeat the third master. If you survive S class, you're eligible for the Star Night Tournament. During the battle, you cannot give commands to the monsters. You cannot use any items either. If you choose to run, you give up the battle. To register, go to the receptionist over there. Alrighty. Hello! Welcome to the arena. Huh? Me? I'm famous here. Everyone likes me. Hee <laughs> hee. So, you want to become the champ to find your sister? How does everybody already know about my sister? Do they, to do that, you must survive here to represent our kingdom. There are classes in the arena. They start from G and go all the way up to D. There are hard classes in D, but you're not ready for them. Yet. What do you think? Ready to fight? G class is for free. 
Yes, I'd like to fight in G-Class because I have no money whatsoever. Oh, great, I missed what I was trying to say. Do you want to go to G-Class? Yes. It's a G-Class. Ladies and gents, welcome to the arena. A new challenger is here today. Ladies and gents, please welcome Terry. Now we begin the first match. Ooh. Here's a Draki and a... Two Drakis and one Andy Deer. Let's rumble! Watch out! Draki and then Eater Monsters. Look out! Draki! Ah! Attack! Draki 2 is knocked down. Draki 1 attacks. Hail receives 4 damage points. Slip attacks. Ouch! This way! Hail attacks! And he attacks 6 and is not failed. And he missed. Darn. And they're knocked out. For the first match, the victor goes to the challenger. Now we begin the second match. One log and two slimes. Let's rumble! Watch out! Slime in! Stuff suck! Stuff suck? What? Hail attacks! In just one hit! Oh, come on! And then there is just one. And he is sleeping. Ouch! Yes! Anteater is nearly dead. For the second match, the victory again goes to the challenger. And we begin the third match. Here is the principal of the master school. Oh dear. I'm the principal of the master school. If you survived me, G-Class is yours. Show me what you're made of. Watch out! Spooky and Hork! Hork? What? Spooky and Hork? Okay then. Hail attacks! Gets goosebumps. Okay then. Hork attacks. Sliver thieves summon damage. Oh. I'm going too fast. Anteater attacks. Ooh. Yes, that's one less monster. And I think we got this. Ah. Oh, dang. Come on. Here. Do we win? Do we win? Come on, fight, 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 fight! And we win! And our anteater is dead. Give a round of, of applause for Master Terry. Well done! You survived G Class! Oh, so Terry, congratulations on your victory in G-Class. The king summons you. Come this way. Oh, Terry, I heard you survived G-Class. Well done. You're not... Never mind. You're not beat. You're not beaten? Is that what you're trying to say? Ah, well. How are you? 
King of Great Tree, I realize that you are the host this time. As the host, I hope you will fight with honor. Oh, what a cute little child. Were you planning were you playing with the king? I am the king of Great Log. I'm I'm, to, I'm starting to think that this one is going to be a Ganondorf level evil king. King of Great Tree. It's going to be a quick battle. <laughs> Uh, we will see who has the last laugh. Terry, you must win. I will open the room of villager and talisman as a reward. But it'll be useful for you. There are stronger monsters there. You're dismissed. Busy, busy, busy. And back to his business. I would say what business would be in there, but I would dare not. The room of villager... And Talisman is in the Traveler's Chamber. You will have to defeat your rivals in the arena. If you win, you'll be the rep representative of our kingdom at the Starry Night Tournament. Now, well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid today we're going to have to end this episode right here. Thank you to anyone who is watching this video, well, within the week, until the next one. So, I do believe that's my outro. Uh, bye. <laughs>